chapter 3.2 exercise 1 through 12. This section of the book, section 3.2, has to do with exponential and logistic modeling. In exercises 1 through 6, we're working on the other problems. Tell whether the function is an exponential growth function or exponential decay function and find the constant percentage rate of growth or decay. Well, for this, we need to understand what the basic function, population, growth, or decay function is. And the function is basically P sub T equals G sub O, which is our starting population, times the quantity 1 plus R, 1 plus R, the power of t. And basically, the, we need to identify the parts of this basic formula. First of all, this p sub 0, this is called the initial, I'll call it population, but it could be amount, right? It doesn't have to be population. It could be amount of cells or could be amount of money, doesn't really matter. And this R inside here is the rate of growth. So in this T right here is the time. And the key thing that we notice is if r is greater than 0, we have, no, greater than 1 is, yeah, greater than 0, we have growth. If r is less than 0, what do we have? Less than 0. We have decay. And so it's just a matter of understanding these elements. And so we look at this, if we kind of want to look back and uh, look at this equation, we have a term, I'm going to erase this now. We have this 3.5, that's our initial amount. Just abbreviating. And this 1.09, this is 1 plus r equals 1.09. And solving for r, if we subtract 1, r is equal to 0.09. Well, this means since R is greater than zero, we have a exponential, abbreviate exponential growth function. And what is that constant? Well, we have constant exp percentage rate of growth we have 0 0.09 and to convert to a percentage we have to multiply by 100. 0 0.09 times 100 equals 9 percent okay rate of growth and you get familiar with this this is really quite obvious. Let me box this in. Next on our problem, which is three, we have f of x equals 78,763 times 0.968 to the power of x. 
Well, in this case, we have this base. We have point nine six eight is let's say plus r. see equals well equals one plus r right one plus r and if we subtract out one we're gonna get minus one minus one and I think we're gonna get we're gonna get point zero three two make sure because if we take 0 0.968 and 0 0.032 we should add up to get one that's one. one okay that's right so negative 0 0.032 equals r okay and since r is less than zero, we have decay. Okay, and what rate of decay is that? Well, we have negative point zero three two times one hundred equals negative 3.2 and what and including in the wording is decay so we'll say a 3.2 percent rate of decay Okay, so box those in is correct. Next, on number from five. Okay, in this case, our base is two. So in this case, two equals one plus r. And solving for r, we have r equals 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, since r is greater than 0, we have growth. And as far as the constant percentage rate of growth, we have 1 times 100 equals 100 percent rate of growth. Which is really telling us that over a time frame the amount will double. So that's what that tells us. Okay, next set, 7 through 18. We're going to only do three of these, 7, 9, 11. Exercise 7 through 18, determine the exponential function that satisfies the given conditions. Well, we have our initial value increasing at a rate of 17% per year. Well, 17% converted to rate, we have to take that 17% and divide that by 100, which is really moving that two decimal places to the left from 17. So we, our rate of growth is 0.117, it's 0.17. Next, the, uh, the formula is population over time equals p sub zero times one plus r 
to the power of t. And t, we're given years, so our equation is going to be p sub t is equal to our initial value, which is 5, times 1 plus 0.17 is going to be 1.17 to the power of t. And you could, you might be able to write this as 5 times 1.17 to the power of t, just like this. I like the parentheses kind of walls off that we understand what's going on. You can rewrite down your p, so t equals 5, our initial value, times 1.17 to the power of t. That'll be our answer to problem number 7. Problem number 9. We have our initial value of 16. So we'll say p sub t again equals 16 times, well, we have decreasing at a rate of 50% per month. So that's going to be 1 minus 50% equals 50 divided by 100 for a rate, or 0 0.5, or just 0 0.5. So we have 1 times 0.5 to the power of t, which is going to be months. So p sub t is equal to 16 times uh, 1 half to the power of t. And this is essentially what a half-life equation looks like, or you can put 0.5 instead of 1 half. Problem number 11. Initial population, 28,900. So P sub T equals 28,900. And we have 1, and we're decreasing. So we have 2.6%, and we divide that by 100 to get rate, we get point. 0, 2, 6. So we're going to have decreasing, so that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.026 to the power of t in years. And p sub t equals 28,900 times 1 minus 0 0.026 is going to be Point nine seven four to the power of t and remove the parentheses. Point nine seven four to the power of t, or you can put. 0 0.974. Anyway, take a look at your even number problems as a demonstration of your learning. Good luck to you. Thanks for viewing.